Hi, I am Siyakshat Audupa. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to share one of the simplest scalping strategy for Bank Nifty. You can use this on Bank Nifty futures or on Bank Nifty options. But it is always preferable to start in options and then if you are confident enough and if you have adequate capital, only then you try in futures. Because even though one trade goes wrong, if you are trading in futures, then you will be in huge loss. So make sure you start with options and once you get hold on it, then you can try futures. So basically, uh, this is a scalping strategy wherein we will try to capture small, small points. And we are using three minutes time frame for this strategy. Basically, we are using two indicators for this strategy that is EMA that is exponential moving average and RSI that is relative strength index. So let us quickly get into the chart and see how exactly this strategy for scalping works. This is a trading view portal. You can use any portal. You will get these indicators that is EMA and RSI. You will just have to go to indicator and load these two indicators. But here when you are loading EMA, you will have to click two times and load the exponential moving average twice because we are not using one EMA. We are using two EMAs here because we are considering the crossover of the EMAs. So once you load two EMAs and RSI, you just have to go to settings over here. Under imports, one EMA, you are going to change the length to 100. Okay, and here you can go to style and change the color and you can also uh, thicken it a little bit so that it is clearly visible. So now this yellow colored thick line is the larger EMA that is 100 EMA. Select OK. Now go to the settings of the second EMA which you have loaded and click on inputs. Here we are going to use shorter EMA that is 9. So under length you will have to change it to 9. And style again you can choose any color and thicken it so that it will be clearly visible. Then say ok. So this is a first uh, indicator setting which you have to do. You will have to load two EMAs, keep one at 100 and another one you will have to change the length to 9. Now. Again go to indicators and load RSI that is relative strength index. Just go to indicators and type RSI you will get this. Here go to settings under styles uncheck everything other than RSI, RSI upper band and RSI lower band. We just want these three RSI, RSI upper band and RSI lower band and under RSI upper band keep it at 60 and RSI lower band keep it at 40. So we need 60, 40 as a range and select OK. So you can see this purple line is RSI line. Here you can see the upper band. Here you can see the lower band. Now let us check what are the conditions for our entry. The first condition is there has to be a crossover or cross under happening. So let us check uh, an example here. Say here we saw the crossover happening, right? At this point, we saw that RSI crossover has happened. When the crossover has happened, when you see this crossover happening, you will also have to check the RSI and see where is it. Is it above the upper band or is it between the band that we have uh, given that is 60, 40 or is it below this? Now, if you want to make it still more simple, you can just go to the settings over here and uh, RSI background fill, I can just change it to, say I'll change it to white. So now what you can do is you can just check whenever the crossover happens is the RSI above this particular bracket or is it below or is it inside. So here if you observe RSI line is above this particular color right this bracket. So if the RSI is above 60 that is above upper band now you can go for buying. So where you will buy exactly after the close of the candle immediately you will place the order. Okay, so as soon as the next candle opens you will place the order and here you will keep a very small target of 50 points. 50 points is our target and we are going to 1 is to 1 uh, ratio RR ratio. So keep the stop loss also at 50 points. So your target is 50 points, stop loss is 50 points and in most of the cases you can see it is easily met if you exactly keep these conditions. So you will have to clearly set the EMA length and the RSI length and whenever you get the entry you will have to check the RSI and only if it is above 60 you will look for buying and whenever you see cross under 
and whenever you see that the RSI is below 40 will go for selling. So this is the case where smaller uh, EMA crossed the uh, larger EMA from upside so you will look for buying and at that time you can see that RSI is above 60 that is above this particular uh, uh, band which we have kept. So immediately the next candle opening you will place the order you will take the entry and keep 50 as the target and 50 as the stop loss. Now this happens in the case of futures. Now as I said if you are trading in options you can go 100 points in the money and there 50 points in the futures means around 20 points in the options. So you can keep 20 points as target and 20 points as stop loss and start in the beginning stage. So if you are trading in options go with 100 points ITM and then keep 20 points as target and 20 points as stop loss. Only if you are going with futures you can keep 50 points as target and stop loss. Before checking some more examples, let us take a quick look on our QTI indicator. This is an indicator which is developed by us and is most uh, mostly accepted by the people who have subscribed for the same. So this is an indicator where you will see the color combination of the candles which will clearly indicate the trend of the stock or index. You can use this on index or on stock. Here you can see the color combinations along with the trend line. So the red trend line with continuous red candle clearly indicates a downtrend and a green trend line with a continuous green candles clearly tell you the uptrend. And whenever you see this yellow candles being formed that means the market is in the sideways zone or it might be an indication of the trend reversal. So you will have to be careful and not, not take any trades during the yellow candle formation. So here you can see uh, there are also signals coming up. So either you can use our signals for taking the trades or you can just use this candle combination and the trend line combination and apply your strategy in your trades. If you are a price action trader then you can look for the breakouts and breakdowns that, that happens and at that time if you see that the candle color is also uh, green and this trend line is also green you can directly take the trades. For example uh, if you observe here if you are a price action trader and if you uh, see some pattern over here and see the breakout happening and if you also see the continuous green candles being formed you can directly go about and take the trades. So whatever is your strategy you can apply it along with this indicator and get more accurate trades. If you are using our uh, signals then you can see here we got a green signal and you can see this yellow line this is a area where you can take the trades and this green line can be your target and this red line can be your stop loss. Again here if you go to the settings you can see you can place target 1, target 2 and stop loss. So if you want to place two targets target 1 and target 2 you can uh, use both of them or you can use one target. Here you also have different other setups you can use setup 1 for intraday trading you can use swing setup. If you want to uh, take shorter swing trades then you can use short swing. You can also use VBS setup it is also an excellent strategy. Uh, here also you will get the buy sell signals. You can use that also. So there are many things that you can do with this indicator and those who have taken this uh, indicator have given a great feedback and have got good results. So you can um, check this indicator I will give the link in the description. You can just go to my super profile and you can check over here you can take lifetime access or you can go for one month or three months access initially check do the back test and if you are satisfied then you can go for lifetime access if you take lifetime access you will get my option buying course for free wherein i have revealed my personal trading setup for option buying also if you want to take option buying course separately that option is also available over here so if you click on this link it will take you to the uh, portal where you can go for subscribing of this indicator so if we just go on checking some more, you can see here we saw another cross under, right? So here we saw that 9 EMA is crossing 100 EMA from above. So this is a cross under and when this cross under happened, you can see that RSI is below 40. So easily you can look for selling opportunity. So this uh, actually when the cross under happened, it was this candle, this big candle. Yes, it was this candle. So the next candle opening will be your entry somewhere over here and you will keep your target at 50 points. Your stop loss will also come to 50 points. So you can see here 
the target is easily met in the next few minutes. Then again we got another entry here you can see the crossover happened right and when the crossover uh, happened it was this particular candle. So next candle will be your buy entry right and 50 points is your stop loss and your target is also 50 points. You can see the next candle itself your target got achieved. So like this if you go on checking for the entries you can see here again we got an entry right this was a crossover candle and our entry is next candle opening you can see here RSI is also above 60 so you can go for buying keep the stop loss at uh, 50 points keep the target at 50 points and you can see here the target was easily achieved. Okay, here you can see it's totally jumbled, right? So whenever the crossover or cross under is happening, you can see here the RSI is between this band. You can see here the crossover has happened, but it is RSI is below 60. So you're not going to take the trade. Next here somewhere cross under has happened, but you can see again RSI is above 40. So you will not take the, the sell entry. This was a cross under that was happening. So you, know, you are not going to take the sell entry. Again here the RSI was uh, above 40. So no entry. Next here RSI was almost exactly at 60, but we are not going to take the trade until RSI goes above 60. Same thing here you can see. Whenever the market is sideways, most of the times RSI will be below 60 uh, and above 40. So we are not going to take risk when we see such uh, RSI that which indicates that the market is in the sideways zone. So you can go on uh, back testing this and see how it works and only if you uh, find that this suits your trading skill then you can check this out. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be back with another informative content very soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.